Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market update. First and foremost, we will look at the global uh, updates and the events that have taken place yesterday. What we have saw, seen in the U.S. markets is that the overall eyes are on the U.S. fiscal cliff uh, uh, solutions, and because of which the, the latest development indicates that the House leader, John Boehner, was unable to get a majority to pass the bill for the Plan B on the U.S. fiscal cliff. It has been a major setback for the House leader where it was expecting the uh, bill to get passed uh, and get a majority, but uh, it has come as a setback for, the, uh, for, for John and because of which now this uh, solution for the U.S. fiscal cliff will now get delayed for, uh, till next week because of the Christmas holidays. So overall, what we saw in the uh, Dow Jones market yesterday is that because of this negative news, the markets came down, but, but uh, at the end of the close, we saw the markets again bouncing back and uh, closing on a positive note uh, because the, the uh, markets are expecting some solutions as far as the US, uh, US fiscal cliff is concerned, and because of it, we saw the Dow closing uh, 60 points uh, on a positive note. As far as the Asian markets are concerned, currently they are trading on a very mixed bias where we have seen uh, Hang Seng trading at around 150 points down, uh, Nikkei is positive around 8 points odd. So overall, things are looking uh, mixed as far as the global markets are concerned. Back home, we have seen the uh, overall range-bound kind of a markets in the Indian, in the Indian stock markets. Uh, and as far as the fund flows are concerned, we have seen the FIS continuing their buying spree where we have seen yesterday also they have been a buyer to a tune of around 444 crores on a provisional note. And at the same point of time, the DIA has been selling and they were sellers at around 467 crores odd in the yesterday's trade. So overall, we will have to see how the things pan out going ahead and we will take a call uh, from a derivatives point of view and we would like to call Mr. Sevel in terms of the ideas and strategies uh, on the <laughs> Good morning, Shrivel. Good morning. Uh, how is the overall market looking in terms of the overall broad market in terms of the FNO uh, data? See, from past couple of trading sessions, we have been seeing that in the futures and options segment, the FIs are not pretty active. And we have been seeing that the market is trading in a narrow band, say 5,880 on the lower side and 5,960, 70 on the higher side. And there is no clear direction. But Yes, when the market is trading in this range, there is no major change in the data from derivative uh, uh, derivative perspective. But what we have seen is that some profit booking has taken place in yesterday's trade because of which we have seen that markets have ended in red. The PCR ratio is still intact at 1.08. So this is still a comfortable zone and we need not worry about that. So what will you take in terms of the strike prices which have seen some action? Uh, see, what we have seen uh, from past couple of trading session is that 6,000 call option continues to stand with highest number of shares in the open interest. That is about the mark of 1 crore shares. And uh, on lower side, we have seen that 5,900 call as well as put option. Both have added good amount of open interest. So, and as I mentioned that the market has been trading in this range. So, now 5,900 on closing basis would act as a very crucial level or we can say as a crucial support for the market going forward. Because we have seen good amount of uh, addition in the open interest. Also, 5,900 is the weekly VWAP. So, this is the important level to watch on. And on higher side, if we see the momentum carrying on, then 6,000 is the probable target. Okay. So, overall, the bias for the market is? The bias for the market is positive. Okay. And uh, if one finds, uh, if market gets a dip in the uh, dip, then it's an opportunity to go long. So in such uh, uh, day-bound kind of a market, what are the stocks that we could look forward to? See, from intraday perspective, we have uh, identified three stocks. Or when the pharma is looking good, so one can maintain a stop loss of 193 rupees 30 paisa. Hevels is also looking good, so one can maintain a stop loss of 615 rupees 90 paisa. Whereas ABB is looking bit negative, so one can go short on ABB with a stop loss of 713 rupees 65 paisa. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Hevel. Thank you. Friends, let me take you through the MID ideas for today. First and foremost, uh, a positive news for Eros International, which has got a very good response as far as the offer for sale is concerned, where the offer for sale of around 2.8% stake in Eros Media has been oversubscribed by around 4.4 times. The indicative price for the same is around rupees 202.62. So we will see a positive sentiment for Eros Media today. Friends, the banking law which has been uh, um, so long pending has now been passed in the parliament where both the corporate houses have entered into the 
have paved the way for the banking sector by approving the banking bill, which has been a key reform legislation which is pending since long. The parliament has also passed the amendments uh, to the debt recovery laws uh, or the surface law after a reply by the finance minister on the combined discussion on the two bills also in the Rajya Sabha. Now, as far as the banking licenses are concerned, sources have indicated that the finance ministry is likely to finalize the guidelines for the banking licenses and this is likely to be announced by the end of December this year. This would be positive for the companies which have been applying for banking licenses like Mahindra and Mahindra Financials and l and Finance Holdings. On a stock specific, we have seen a positive announcement for GMR infrastructure where the company has commenced the commercial operations in two roads. One is being at Vijayawada, uh, the NHAI 9 and the Hungand uh, Hospital section of uh, the NH, uh, High, National Highway 13 uh, ahead of the schedule. Uh, because of this, the company is expecting the overall revenues of around 1 crore on a daily basis. So positive note for positive news for GMR infrastructure, I would recommend to go long on an intraday basis with a stop loss of rupees 18.5 for a target of 19.7 to 20.2. A positive news for TCS where the company has said that it is expanding its footprint in various uh, geographies like China, Japan, Latin America and Europe to tap opportunities there. Uh, further, the company has also indicated a very positive um, bias from the Europe front where it is expecting, where it's also expecting some good orders to come from the European nations. And the company has said that there has been a lot of transformation deals which have been coming from the Europe, which is overall positive for this stock. And what we feel is that the action to be taken is long on an intraday basis with stop loss of 1,223, with target of 1,285 and 1,310. DLF has launched a new luxury housing project in Gurgaon. The overall sales realizations to be around rupees 900 crores. On the basis of this news, we recommend to go long on DLF with a stop loss of 221 for target of 233 to 237.5. Tata Communications has uh, mentioned that it is looking forward to reducing the overall cost and also the balancing the cost because of the uncertain global economic outlook. Uh, and this would be a positive as far as the company is concerned. And action to be taken is long Tata Communications with a stop loss of 221.5 and targeting 233 to 237.5. One of the major events which have taken place is the inter inter Intercontinental Exchange has buy out New York Stock Exchange Euronext for $8.2 billion. Yesterday, the uh, NYSE stock was up by around 33% uh, around because the valuations have been around uh, much premium to the uh, stock price which was trading and because of which we feel is that it's going to be sentimentally positive for MCX. And also there is a, uh, one more news that MCX also got a SEB approval uh, to operate as a full-fledged boss. So because of which we feel is that the momentum is going to be positive for MCX and we recommend to go long with stop loss of 1,476 are targeting 1,551 to 1,581. A negative development, a negative news from Kane India, where Kane India has, is likely to revise the production guidance for FI 2013 lower, where the company has said that the overall there has been some pressure in the uh, reservoir problem in the Rajasthan gas field, and where the company is expecting to produce around three lakh barrels per day, and currently it is producing around one lakh ninety thousand barrels a day. So overall. It is unable to ramp up the entire Rajasthan production by around 8% because of which we recommend to go short in Kane India with a stop loss of 326.5 for target of 310 to 304 on an entire day basis. That's it friends from the MID Ideas. We hope you have a good trading day today. We will look forward to you next week. Thank you.